Seven minutes, how to take off with the 737 MAX. Here we go, Captain. Before we start, let's first get one minute of theory before hoping in the plane. During takeoff and climb, we define two distinct sequences. The first sequence, just after takeoff, is called the initial climb. Its unique goal is to avoid ground or terrain collision. During this phase, the plane will maintain a low speed, but will guarantee to gain the maximum of altitude in the shortest ground distance possible. This is the best angle of climb. The second sequence is the standard climb, where the plane is safe from the ground so it can climb at higher airspeed and lower its engine power for noise reduction and fuel efficiency. In real life, you would feel the pitch of the aircraft getting lower, then you would hear the engines slowing down. As the plane is getting more airspeed, it will reach its best rate of climb. Now let's get to the practice. We are holding short of runway 27 left at Philadelphia. Let's configure the aircraft. First, verify the speed selected on the autopilot. It should represent V2 plus 10%, our safe climb speed that we calculated in the previous video. Feel free to check it if you didn't. It will explain you how to configure the FMS. Second step, deploy flaps. We are about to take off with flaps 5, so we can lower them using this lever. You can monitor the status of your flaps at this location. Wait a couple of seconds for them to be set. Next, set the automatic brakes to RTO. RTO means rejected takeoff, so the plane will automatically brake if throttle is set to idle. You can now enter the runway and optionally put landing lights for more role play. Continue straight forward, perpendicular to the axis, that will give you the maximum runway length possible. Please remember the nose wheel is just under your seat and the plane is 130 feet long, so do not hesitate to take wide turns. After the plane is aligned, apply brakes to stop the aircraft. Our focus now will be on the autopilot. Enable the flight director, then arm VNAV and LNAV. That way the plane will engage its navigation according to the flight plan. Then you can activate auto throttle. That will take control of the thrust during takeoff and climb. Verify on the FMA that all of these components are armed. Everything is set. Time to rock. As you configured the aircraft like a pro, now almost 80% of the job will be automatic. On Boeing aircrafts, the takeoff thrust is performed by the auto throttle and can be launched by clicking this little button. It's hard to click it, so do not hesitate to move the camera in order to catch it. There we go. The lever is automatically going to its configured thrust. We can monitor it on the ECAS. Please note changes on the FMA, validating the onboard computer is in takeoff mode. Our main goal here is to keep the airplane on the runway axis while monitoring our speed until we reach the rotation speed. Approaching the rotation speed, pull on the yoke in order to maintain 10 degrees pitch. Positive rate. Gear up. At this point, your unique focus should be on the flight director, trying to follow it as best as you can. The horizontal component of the flight director will give you the correct pitch to maintain the selected speed. The vertical component of the flight director will guide your plane through the departure path. Now that the plane is in a stabilized climb, we can enable the autopilot that will take care of this job for us. Let's focus on the speed. We are still in the initial climb stage, meaning the plane is in a steep climb. The managed speed by the FMS is 180 knots. Watch what will happen after passing 1500 feet. The onboard computer has selected 245 knots meaning we are exiting the initial climb stage and going for the standard climb. As the plane will gain speed, it's time to retract flaps. On the airspeed indicator, you'll find some markers like 5-1 up. These are the minimum airspeed to retract flaps. Our airspeed is currently above the 5 mark. Let's set flaps 2. Passing 1 marker, set flaps 1. Passing up marker, we can retract flaps completely. 
And this is it. Now the plane will climb in a standard configuration maintaining 250 knots, which is the legal limit below 10,000 feet. You can now take a break and get some coffee. You deserved it. Good job, Captain. On the next video, we will see how to use the FMS while airborne. Thanks for watching and as always, feel free to like and subscribe for more content. Happy landings, Captain.